If you want to succeed in Atomy, you need to go crazy. So if you are to earn 100 million won a month, you should go crazy. How can you get crazy? You need to imagine the life of a person who earn 100 million won a month. There are three young people in the front row. If you say you can get 100 million won a month, are you going to go crazy? Yeah? Young lady there, you will go crazy, right? Yes or no? Yes, of course, you can get crazy if you are to earn 100 million a month, right? Yeah, you see that there are a lot of people out there who are crazy. So if you get crazy about something, then you can make that true. And all the people who got successful, who achieved their dreams, they are all crazy about the thing. One of the reasons um, who don't succeed is that they've never heard people call them crazy. They do things that people understand, uh, what other people also think so. They make a minimum amount at a company. They make three million, five million a month. But once they start talking about how they want to make a hundred million, hundred million, a billion, um, people would call them crazy. And that's the reason they're not rich right now. They're, the reason why they're not successful. People who are successful, they've heard people call them crazy. I've also heard them. I was sitting in my rented house. I had a rented car. And I was talking about how um, people could be making billions while I didn't even have my life prepared. And everyone called me crazy and they all left. But they all live a life that they had before. They didn't make much money since then. But people who believe that they could be making a billion, hundred million, Kim sung il and all the people who have trusted me and followed me in this path. Um, some people joined afterwards. Yeah. He started with the ID when about like 5,000. So he started around three years later, maybe two years later. So everyone, our ID number, It took us a year for it to reach a thousand. And for three years, we made it up to 5,000. And now we keep, we get about 10,000 very rapidly. But in the beginning, we didn't have that much of a growth. And when I first met the Imperial Master sitting here, uh, we met in a chicken place and we talked up until midnight. And we talked about it. And while we were eating boiled chicken, um, no one followed me, even though the chairman was paying for dinner. But he still followed and we talked until midnight and all the owners in that house, uh, owners of that restaurant, they tell me around 10. They're always telling me that they're going to leave before me. They give me a room and they all leave because they know that I'm going to stay longer. And I talk until midnight or even past midnight. Do we just talk about business? No. We also talk about the religion and how we have to live our future lives. And I was poking my thighs because I was getting so tired. Maybe they were really tired listening to it. But we gone through all that. I told all the stories per person for every single one of them. Our Hong Yong Hong Yonggu Imperial Master in Basan, we met. Um, they, sh he had about 10 people there, so he invited me to come over. So I went down, and as I was drawing circles, seven people disappeared. They stood up and left. But the three people, why were they sitting down? Um, they were still sitting down because they appreciated me coming all the way from Seoul. So they were just sitting there so that I wouldn't be embarrassed. So Atomy in this network marketing, uh, Atomy has become a good company. But before, 10, 15 years ago, they all thought we were weirdos. Uh, we talked about selling good products for a cheap price. This one toothbrush being really cheap. And they were, we were talking about how they were better quality and how they were cheaper than other, other places that they could buy toothpaste or toothbrushes. And we were doing all these crazy things. And when working, even though this is a simple work, you have to be mad about it. And when you work in that way, that's when you get feel the self-accomplishment. For 17 years, I worked in a factory engineering plastic and making parts for cars. It wasn't easy. But working in that field every morning when I left work around 1 to 2 a.m., when I research and look up what to do myself, um, sun was rising and I went home thinking I should take a shower at least. And I looked at the sky and all the falling stars and I felt as if I was living a life that was worth thinking about. And I had that accomplishment. I was tired, my body was tired, but my thoughts were awake. So don't say that you're tired because life is hard. Life is hard no matter what you do.